Okay, so in this video, we're going to be writing to the table with code and, oh, sorry. And yeah, because we already know how to make an item here. Sorry, that's an example. So let's say we have test table or table test 1.2. We have this item, Ethan 17. So what we're gonna wanna do is, if we wanna write it, this is, this is my favorite way to write it. It's really, really simple. You just make the item. So you have your client, like we kind of discussed before, the region that you want. And I think that's the region we want, isn't it? Ohio, US East 2. Yeah, okay, we're gonna use that region. So you have the region you want right here, and then you build it, and then you pass it to that client. We did that before. And then we're gonna get the table. Let's do test 1.2. So now it's gonna get this table. It's gonna write to this table. And then all you have to say, very, very easy, you have a new item, you get a new item, and then you just tell it what everything is. It's primary key, it's string, it's number. These are all the types with string, type string with number, type number, type boolean, type boolean. And then here you have the title. So you have the name, price, description, category, material. This was for an earlier project I did, Amazon products. So that's why there's all this weird stuff. But we're going to create a homie. Because that is one. He's a homie. It's 32, I guess. He's a homie. Comfort. Don't know what he's made of. In stock. NA, zero, NA. And then you're going to say table.putItem. Pass it the item. Really easy. So if we run this code. Do, do, do. Uh oh. That is not good. You know what? That's uh oh I think. Here we go. Let's try this. I might have spelled something wrong. There we go. Yeah, I used a see this is a lowercase n, I used a capital N. Whoops. Anyways, now if we reload this, we have a homie. There we go. You can see all of that. And then, see how none of these are filled? It's because in a DynamoDB table, you can create a lot of items with different or different aspects to the item. So if we edit this, we can see those are the only aspects to that item. But if we take a look at this item, well, there's a lot more aspects. So that's the cool thing about DynamoDB, I guess, is you can have all these different kinds of items. And then I could put calories or whatever I want into Ethan, but that'd be weird, so I don't need to. And yeah, so that's creating it my easy way. But, oh my gosh, allergies, I'm so sorry. But there's also another way if you like JSONs which Abhinav, you do. So let's, uh, let's get into that one. I don't know a ton about this one. But basically the idea is if you have a JSON file full of, see all these, these are movies and these are, these are all JSONs. This is one JSON file. This is another JSON file. And this is just a JSON made of a bunch of JSONs. I'm pretty sure. And basically you have a JSON file can store data in a very simple, simple format. So you have an object year and it's aspect 2013 and then and then info its aspect is another object with a bunch of other objects inside of there and these can be strings like i said i don't know about a ton a ton about json's but that's the general idea is you make a json file and then you can save that file and then you can you can get your do all the stuff we did before with the profile credentials provider the region the client the table that we already have made since we already made that movies table. And then we're gonna create a JSON parser. And what this is gonna do is gonna parse our big JSON file and find every individual JSON file. And then we're gonna have a JSON node. It's gonna be the root node. And this is gonna be kind of like a linked list, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna pass it the parser. And then the iterator will iterate through that JSON node list and give you each JSON as you get through it. So we're going to go to the next item, as long as there's a next item. It's really similar to the linked list. And then 
We're going to give it its year and its title. This is the primary key and the sort key. So that's important to give right away. And then we're just going to give, gonna give it the table, movies. We're going to put a new item, put item, new item with the primary key, with the title. And then here is the JSON. And then we just pass it that JSON, make it a two string, and it'll make that data for us. So I think if we run this, hopefully it'll work. Oh, yep, it's working. So let's just stop that because there's like a billion movies inside of that file. It'll take forever. Excuse me. So if we, oh, and one cool thing, we saved this one to a different place, US West 2. So we can go there to Oregon and see that we have a movies table that now has a bunch of movies. And if you look in it, here's another cool thing about the JSON is you can have this map thing, which basically just stores a bunch more data. So if you want to learn more about JSONs, there's probably tons of videos on that. But anyways, that's the idea of pushing JSONs up. And so you can either do it that way with JSONs if you have JSON files, or you can do it this way if you just want it to be really straightforward and simple. What I like about this is that if you already have an SQL database, that you want to convert into a DynamoDB database. This is super, super easy. All you do is, if you're familiar with it, SQL, you get a result set of all the things, you get a result set, right, of your table, and then you can simply just pass this result set to this method, and then instead of one, you could say rs.get enter whatever, it is, or you know, git int, and then you can pass it, whatever your integer section is called here, and then it'll just pass that data in. So that's just a really easy way to convert from SQL to DynamoDB, and that's why I actually have this code is because my database was originally SQL, so if some of you guys have already started on SQL databases, you can easily convert it to a cloud Dynamo database with this code. And if you like JSONs and already have a bunch of JSON data, you can use this code to do it. And there will be links to this code either in the video or in the Padlet. But yeah, that is pushing data to the cloud.